Hello, I'm Mark Cuevas, and welcome to New Media Weekly. This week, I'm speaking with Kurt Boone, creator of the Messenger Poet Show. Kurt, welcome. You do a lot of things. Obviously, you're a poet, you're an author, you're now a new media producer. That's right. Tell me, um, where did the idea come, come to you to do a new media show? Well, I, I started uh, watching a web series on YouTube, Flip TV, and I, I kind of liked the concept of creating uh, quirky content in short form. And through some of my poetry, I thought uh, I might be able to work in this field. And so that's kind of like my original idea of like how to, to get in the web series, because I just liked the the quirkiness of it and the opportunity to create a uh, short form video. How have you built your audience? Well, initially it's through word of mouth, but uh, once I got uh, a one video produced uh, with one of my poems, uh, I posted it on the internet through a few blogs and Facebook, and uh, I got uh, some good response. So based on that one, uh, poem, I, I thought, you know what, I may have an idea there because uh, uh, friends were asking for me to do more more videos. So gradually be, started becoming a business instead of just another outlet for your creativity. Right, so it's, well the idea was to create opportunity uh, to increase, you know, uh, uh, audience for myself. Uh, you know, I'm primarily like interested in really selling books and telling stories through books. But if video can help me get there, you know, I'm more, I'm more for it. And I'm also interested in the idea of um, producing content too. So um, I, I've written like over like 400 poems in the years I've been writing poems. I'm 52, so I have quite a, quite an archives of poetry content to work with. And so um, with that in mind, it's, uh, uh, I've been always looking for using that content to, to tell stories. Alley cats, cycle fast, cycle slow, the race is on. Down city streets, on the east side and on the west side. Who is the fastest messenger in New York City? Fixed gear wannabes or fixed gear masters? Dangerous winds as death could come at any moment. Yellow cabs, city buses, and killer trucks. I am the fastest messenger in New York City. Alley cats. What is alley cat? Alley cats are events that bike messengers have to race each other. So there are event where bike messengers, they organize it after work or on the weekend to gather together uh, in, in friendship and also to see who has the best technical skills in being a bike messenger by racing. Um, but the race is going to five checkpoints getting manifest sign, and then going to another checkpoint to get a manifest sign. And the person with the quickest time wins the race. The focus of your show and, and most of your writing is the messenger, it's the bike messenger world. Right, well see, so I would call it, I, I, I tend to write about the whole messenger industry, but getting back to Amy Bolger, the New York Alley Cab book, that book was to identify the, the alley cat scene here in New York City, which is a kind of unique scene uh, here. So Amy had these great photographs and I asked her, you know, let me help you put a book together along with uh, Kevin Bolger, her husband, and an illustrator called Greg Ugale to create this book to identify uh, this alley cat racing here in New York. But in general, my books kind of deal with the whole messenger industry. Can you tell me how your relationship with Cold Cast came to be? I ran into Cold Cast through another filmmaker. I was, uh, he was uh, doing a show um, and he wanted me on one of his episodes. And so um, I appeared on one of his episodes and uh, I had already had the Mission Poetry Show on Blip TV. And so uh, based on being on his show, on CoCast, I decided to approach uh, CoCast myself, and I sent uh, the Messenger Poet Show to the acquisitions person at CoCast. They liked the show immediately, and they, they wanted me to be on CoCast. So how has the process of 
being on cold cast affected the business of the Messenger Poet Show? Well, it's been very effective uh, in, in terms of getting more people to view my show and uh, the graphics they've done for my show has really been awesome as well. Uh, but uh, in terms of like generating dollars, uh, it's slightly difficult in the sense that, you know, uh, I, I haven't gotten any money from Phil Mannix of Lip TV yet. Mm -hmm. But I have gotten uh, money from Cocast Co TV. So I. Uh, so Substantial that's amount, or you at least you've received something? I've from... actually received something. So I actually, okay. you know, I got a small royalty check uh, uh, about three months ago, and then I just got my second royalty check for 33 cent uh, about a couple of weeks ago. But my first check, to be honest with you, was $29. And that was based on um, 60,000 views.